So, when you're in an abusive, abusive narcissistic relationship, like I was, where I was allowing myself to be raped so that I could have a place in my son's heart and then to be rejected by him has been one of the most painful things. This dog is because he wanted a dog. I did not want dogs. I did not want to clean up dog poop. And we had puppies. He wasn't going to clean up after his dog. And he didn't learn that lesson with his mother. So I did exactly what my mother did and got rid of the dog that he wanted. That was a mistake. I wish I'd never done that. Because that's my boy. I didn't need to torture him even worse than he'd already been hurt. The loss of that dog was the end of our relationship. He could not take any more of the narcissistic rages that I had because I did not know any better. I was an empath in a narcissistic relationship where I could not control my rages. It was painful. It was awful. It was epic. It was Shakespearean because my family started this country and my son says I'm entitled. Well, I'm sorry to a little white untitled man who thinks that he knows better than any woman until he finally figured out he's a woman. Surprise. Those nipples are going to be used for something besides looking good on a Facebook post. That's for damn sure. Them moves are going to be something. I love your moves. I love everything about you. You don't understand that. I gave you life, boy. I loved you more than my own self, my own being. And I gave you everything I possibly could. And you gave me shit. You gave me more shit than anybody in my life ever has. And I never want to see that level of pain in my life ever again. I never want to know what it's like to have some little bastard tell me that uh, they're going to come get me. And they deleted all the evidence. They deleted. They got my uh, EPO. I wish I hadn't taken that. I wish I'd gotten copies of everything. But I didn't think about that. They took all that stuff. They said that I, they were able, he's so powerful. He could get on T-Mobile and have them change their number. I bet you the original servers have the original thing, but whatever they have right now, they're able to show that I wasn't calling, I wasn't calling the number to say, I'm coming to see my son. <laughs> Call us when you get here. I didn't know. And they took me, don't go anywhere. Just stay there. What did you say? I never said I was going to kill them. I said I wanted to see my son. And they said I threatened them like that. And now I have a relationship with my son on the internet. Because that's how I have relationships with just about everybody. Except your mom. And a few of my old friends who understand how I am. At the core of my being, they can't hate me because they know 
I'm a good person. I've just been hurt so bad. And I let my son see all my hurt, and I never should have. I should have faked it like so many people do. Just like his grandparents can fake it. I hope they hurt. I hope she feels the pain of what she did for five years. They did that to me deliberately. They violated my person. They didn't care that I was sick. They knew I was on fentanyl when I had cashes. His dad was just so happy to take me to my gynecology appointments. I was happy to have an older man look at me and not see me as a sex object. Boy, was I wrong about that. Boy, was I wrong about that. No wonder that witch never wanted him around me. Now I get it. Now I get it. Now this saggy titty bitch gets it. She understands a lot more about life than she did before June 29th. Malignant narcissism is what motherhood is all about. They, somebody you can feed your own breast with and have somebody treat you like you are invisible. Because you feel invisible. I did not invade my son's privacy as a teenager. I did not make him pose for a bunch of photographs he did not want to take. I wanted him to have his privacy because I knew what it was like to mourn somebody and you didn't want them to see you. You didn't want anybody to see how you felt about yourself, about your own mother, about your own dad, that you think idolize a man that's already dead, that you can't see as two separate, three separate people, that you always had to be a son. <laughs> A son and a brother sometimes. And when you can't be a father to your boy, and your boy doesn't recognize that you're his daddy too, it's painful. Oh, you don't deserve that honor. You don't even deserve a Mother's Day or a birthday. You don't deserve anything. You're right, I don't deserve any kind of hatefulness. I've been sick my entire life and I'm sorry I had a boy. I'm sorry I had a son. I'm sorry that I ruined your life. I'm sorry I made you suicidal. I'm sorry that I had you and made you feel like you were nothing when you were everything and I told you that and your friend groomed you because he didn't love his own mother. And I understand that. He groomed you to hate me too. And I would try and go do something. Let's go to the park. Let's go play mini golf. No, I can't do that. That was the last thing. 
did with my I can't do that with you, Mom. I can't go to the Getty. I can't go to a museum with you. I can't give you anything of what I need because I have no emotional reserves because my spoons are all gone. Yeah, I know. My spoons were all gone too. Every fucking one of them and now they're all back. It's painful to have gone through such a malignant phase of my life. That 18 years, I guess I told him I didn't want to be a mother past 18 years. Boy, was I wrong about that. But you can't change what you can't change. Can't unsee an email that you can't unfeel. Those feelings. I'm sorry, boy. I wish I could change things, but I can't. I hate being brain damaged. I hate being raised by a narcissistic asshole. I hate that I was empathetic to another narcissistic asshole. That I wasn't bad at daughter. And I went from being a battered daughter to a battered sister to a battered wife. <laughs> to a battered mother. A battering ram. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had you so that you know the suffering of life. The greatest gift I ever gave you. the gift I never wanted. The molecules of air that I don't want to breathe because I can't feel comfortable in my own body and it's painful. I'll probably never get what I want out of life. I probably never get another hug from my son. <laughs> to be told I'm the best mom ever for <laughs> giving him life. Because he's so happy to have one. <laughs> I don't think things are going to work out in the way that I think they are. I'm just delusional. I'm probably, everybody's probably right. Everybody's probably right, and I'm probably wrong about everything. And I'm so delusional to think that there's anything special or different about me than there is about anybody else. It's hard to accept yourself as who you are on the inside as well as the out. It's hard to be disabled and have people look at you like you're supposed to have the answers to everything when you barely have all the questions. You know that we came from amoebas and the lightning struck us. And the lightning is God. <laughs> That's what gave us life. That's what split our protons and neutrons and made all these beautiful things that you see before you. All the things that you can imagine. All the narcissistic, egotistical sights that you can see in front of you. All the joys, all the hardships, everything, all the love. Please love each other as much as you can every day that you can. Please learn how to be kind to one another because that's all we can do to each other. Every day, I love you too. <laughs>